Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel for another acrylic painting tutorial. If you're new, I'm Joni Young and welcome to my channel. Hope you guys all enjoy watching and learning how to paint this uh, acrylic landscape today. I've got 11 by 14 primed canvas and I have the following colors, blue turquoise, burnt sienna, Mars black, titanium white, neon yellow cool, and some sap green. I'm gonna start this painting by spraying my canvas with a little bit of water. This will help me blend my acrylics out a lot easier. Then I'm just going to take a filbert brush. You can use any brush you want to just evenly spread that water around and coat the canvas. Okay, the first color I'm going to take is white. I'm going to start adding that over the center. Then I'm going to take a little bit of neon yellow. And I'll just go around sort of an oval shape like this, leaving it bright white in the center. Okay, the next color I'm going to take sap green. I'm going to start adding it around the corners and the rest of the canvas. Okay, now that the painting is all dry, I'm going to come in and add a little bit of the blue turquoise with my number 20 flat brush. I'll get my brush just a little bit wet. I'll pull a little bit in to load both sides. Then I'm going to start down here in the corners. And I'm going to start to sweep it up and then curve over. See how we get a few lines like that? That'll be the beginning stages of our grass. So you can turn your brush this way as well. Okay, I'm gonna use a fan brush. This one's a number two. some water and more of that blue turquoise. Just continue adding water, little curves like this. Just some simple tall grass and leaves. Let's be a little bit heavier with the paint now come down here on the bottom. Curve and pull towards the center. Start coming in with a little bit of black sap green with my blue turquoise. I'm 
And we're going to start to layer over. Just gently pushing off the edge of your brush. I'll give you some instant palm leaves. And making them shorter and shorter down here give the illusion of some perspective makes it look like this is farther away We're going to add a few extra dark ones here with a little bit more black. So you want to make sure you're going back for more water and it's pretty runny.
a little bit more black and green. And just push, turn over, push, turn over. I'm going to take my number 14 filbert brush, a little bit of just dab these drips off. I've got quite a bit of watery, thorny paint. A little bit of yellow and white. I'm going to add some down here. A hint of burnt sienna. A bit more white. Okay, the next thing I want to do is create a really pretty shade of turquoise. So I'll take some white, blue, a little bit of neon yellow. A little bit like that on my 14 filbert. And I'm going to leave a little space here between this, the sandy path. And I'll just add a little bit across like this. A little bit more white, a little bit more yellow. Rinse my brush off and soften. Take some white, a little bit of yellow. add some right there and I'm going to continue up here with some more palm leaves green black blue let's take a little bit of yellow in there too just mix up all those colors Need more water. That helps the bristles split apart and make the brush look like a rake.
I'm going to take a little bit more blue and yellow. Give it a little bit of depth in the water out there. And I'll just tidy up this palm leaf right here. There we go. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do with my number 20 flat brush is take a little bit more burnt sienna and white. I'm just going to sweep a little bit here. I'll and soften that. And then I'm going to come over and add a little bit of A little bit of a filter here to warm up the outer edges. So again, just a little bit of burnt sienna, a little bit of white. Let's see how it's sort of patchy like this. I don't want to over blend. So lastly add just straight black for some palm leaves in the foreground here for the darkest shadows before I call this one done. Again with my fan brush, add one right here. And then just a little bit of a little bit of shadows in here. And you know, I think I'm going to add just a few birds with a mini liner brush, just a little bit of little bit of watered down black. Take a little bit of white. that down there for just a little hint of a 
wave. So gentle. Foam on the waves on the shoreline here. All right, this painting's all done. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize for any noise. Um, I hadn't planned on neighbors doing <laughs> construction outside, so hopefully you guys can stay focused on this tutorial and learn a lot from this video. Feel free to paint along. Share your versions on our Facebook group. I'll have a link below for that. And you can check out more videos uh, here on my YouTube channel as well as Patreon. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye!